Hello and welcome to the Your Own Place first update. This is the first of our coronavirus updates and today I'm going to talk to you a bit about benefits changes. I'm Rebecca and I'm the CEO of Your Own Place and welcome to my home which like lots of you I'm working from home at the moment and as I said this is the first of the updates in these very weird times. We appreciate it's really hard for all of us to keep on top of everything and to keep up with all the changes. So we want to do these short updates if they're useful to you. And today I have to thank the incredible Rebecca Osborne who is capturing everything for you visually right now. So how are you doing? We hope you're doing okay. We're speaking to lots of the people we support and we know things are tough right now. And this is the first really of my public announcements. We want to thank you for social distancing, for doing what you're doing. Our top four reminders today are keep washing your hands, please cover your mouth when coughing, exercise once a day, it's really great for you, I've been going out for my morning run, it's keeping me going and keep that two metre distance while you're doing it and shop just for those essentials, all of this makes a massive difference to people. I've also got as part of our introduction four recommendations for your well-being. Avoid the unofficial websites and the stories on social media. There's a lot of scaremongering, a lot of myths, and it's just not good for us. Try to sleep well. That might mean not having heavy meals in the evening or not drinking late. Try to eat as well as you can and to drink plenty of water. So that really was the intro to this short first update. And then I'm going to move into the main content. I'm going to talk to you a bit about the benefits changes. There's loads going on and then a short ending. So I'm going to start off talking about universal credit. As you'll know already, universal credit is a monthly payment that combines lots of other benefits and it's there to cover your living and your housing costs. We know people are under a lot of pressure at the moment. We know people are losing their jobs. Just today in the news, we heard that a million people have tried to claim universal credit in the last two weeks. In normal times, that figure is around 200,000. So you'll appreciate and empathise that that is putting your local job centre under an awful lot of pressure. So the DWP, the Department for Work and Pensions, your local job centre is employing 10,000 more people to manage those claims. But call them, you may be entitled. They're on 0800 328 5644. Here come some other changes. Due to the coronavirus outbreak from the 6th of April, that's next Monday, you may be entitled to £20 a week more. I say may. Check it out. Things are changing all the time. Because of coronavirus, the government has suspended all face-to-face -face appointments for three months from the 19th of March. Again, things are changing. So that means if you're claiming job seekers allowance, employment support or universal credit, you do not need to attend. This includes interviews, medical assessments if you're starting a claim for personal independence payments and appointments with your job coach. So to be really, really clear, missed appointments will not lead to sanctions. If your circumstances have changed, and lots of our circumstances in work, out of work, have changed, you could now be eligible for universal credit where you weren't before. If you're having to self-isolate, you could now be eligible for universal credit or benefits. And I will talk more about work, pay, statutory sick pay next time. Help is available, and we really want you to go to the trusted government websites. Websites like Money Saving Expert, Gov UK websites, Turn to Us, the Money Advice Service will always give you our top three websites. And today there's understandinguniversalcredit.gov.uk, go to their coronavirus page. There's Turn to Us, that's the number two, turn to us.org.uk, and the Citizens Advice Service.org.uk also has information about your health, coronavirus, and what it means for you and your benefits. So that really is a whistle-stop short benefits update. So we're coming to the ending part now, 
and we really care about you. Like I said at the beginning, we know this is tough on all of us. What are you going to do today to feel better? We recommend a brisk 10 minute walk. You can remember do some exercise outside, keeping that two meter distance. NHS One U Active has some really great tips to stay well. We want you to stay safe. We want you to be kind and thoughtful. This is tough for your neighbours, your family, your friends, people around you. We'd love you to follow us on social media because we're keeping our updates there, trusted, simple, up-to-date messages. On Facebook, we're at Your Own Place CIC. On Twitter, we're at Your Own Place. And on Instagram, we're at Your Own Place underscore. In the coming days and weeks, I want to do more of these if they're helpful. We want to talk about work and benefits next week. We want to talk about fun things to do. A lot of this is pretty serious. We need some fun. We want to talk about housing and what it means for rent and mortgages. We want to talk about employment, getting back into work. We want to give you some useful and fun apps so you can hang out with people online safely. And we want to get you online. We appreciate not everybody is online or confident online. So I hope this has been useful. Rebecca, thank you again. I'm another Rebecca. I'm CEO of Your Own Place.